Deep sea mining is an uprising field of mining seabed that involves different experiments and extraction of minerals that are found at depths of 200 meters or greater. The terrestrial minerals are depleting and are of low quality, coupled with the high demand. Big companies are turning to the ocean to fulfill the demand. Ocean beds are rich in high quality minerals. The minerals extracted are highly applicable in modern technologies. Polymetallic nodules are found on the surface of the deep sea and are rich in copper, cobalt, nickel, and manganese. These nodules have been identified as being of potentially high economic value, therefore they have been targeted for future mining. Polymetallic sulfide deposits are found in the deep sea at depths from 505,000 meters and are formed on tectonic plate boundaries and volcanic provinces. Cobalt-rich ferromanganese crusts are high in metals such as cobalt, manganese, and nickel. Since it is a mining process, seabed mining raises questions about its potential environmental impact. The digging of the ocean floor can disturb the underwater ecosystems and seafloor. It also has the potential of exterminating unique species. Scientists are warning that deep sea mining can have an irreversible and inevitable impact on marine life. 85% of the wildlife living around hydrothermal vents is found nowhere else in the oceans. The physical recovery of the nodules that mining companies want to extract takes millions of years, and we do not know if creatures dependent on nodules can recover after their removal. Since deep sea mining is a relatively new field, we don't know the exact consequences of this mining in benthic zones of water. Sediment plumes also have the potential for eradicating species and polluting the waters. They are formed when the remains or waste of mining is dumped back to oceans. A study indicates that for an average of 10,000 metric tons of nodules mined per day, about 40,000 metric tons of sediment will be disturbed. This has a drastic impact on the seafloor as it scatters the fauna. This also increases the turbidity, allowing a little sunlight to reach flora, resulting in less photosynthesis. Sediment plumes also contain metals. The accumulation of toxic metals in an organism works its way through the food web causing detrimental health effects. The machines used for seabed mining are necessarily very loud consequently, increasing the risk of circumambient noises in pelagic ocean zones. Anthropogenic noises can badly damage marine species and mammals. High noise exposure can result in behavioral changes, communication issues, and permanent hearing damage. The machines used for seafloor mining use lights for lighting the path and seafloor. Previous studies show that deep-sea shrimps found at hydrothermal vents suffered permanent retinal damage. The deep sea is very important for climate change and global warming. The carbon that humans and plants emit is absorbed by the ocean and marine species. The stored carbon is in a huge mass, consequently if it gets re-emitted in the atmosphere it will cause catastrophe. The most apparent solution to lessen the impact of deep sea mining is increasing knowledge on deep sea ecosystems. Level of environmental impact that mining activities have must be determined. Mitigation techniques are also important when monitoring the potential harmful impacts on deep sea environments. One study indicates that mitigation measures include avoiding areas of high importance. Minimizing the impact by creating unmined corridors and relocating animals from sites. A final solution would be reducing the demand for mineral deposits from the deep sea by recycling and reusing products.